So let's do a demonstration now. Okay. Um, so now we're going to switch gears. So, so we, 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 found, we found that you, you said you had tight shoulders, right, trapezes? Yes. Yeah. And, and we said, check right now, what's the pain level or the discomfort from 0 to 10? 8. It's about an 8. So on a 10-point scale, it's pretty tight. Yes. You know, it's uncomfortable and it, it interferes at a, at a level of 8. And uh, can you show me where? Point, point to where? Um, Let's do the right side because it'll be easier to demonstrate. It, no, I mean, do your oh. left side. Do your left side. This way. Yeah. So yeah. it it's tight from all the way up here, all the way down. Okay. All and way down. I'll also get numb a numbness sensation. A numbness sensation. A tingling okay. numb. Now has this been going on for a long time? Yes. Like, uh, for a few months. I understand you're studying for your boards. Yes. So it has something to do with that, I bet. I believe, so. actually, it's weird. It started when I started studying for my board. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a stress component. Maybe. Here. Okay. So, so we know basically where it is, but now we want to get more definitive. So I'm going to palpate that. So let's just see here. Maybe turn a little bit sideways so we can see. So I'm going to, I'm feeling, is that, you tell me when it feels tender. Right there. Or, oh, right there. You know, it's very, very tight in here. Right there. It feels, it feels like the steel band. And, and right here, probably like tiny line is, is like, a, I could, I could bounce a ball off of it. It's, it's saying it's, save me. It's really tight. How about your upper back? Not, not too much. much. Mostly right up in here, isn't it? Okay. So, so we'll start off on her, or we'll do her right side. As a demonstration, okay. So what we want to do then is uh, now let me let me review things because I'm sure we covered a lot. Remember that this is the base of her skull. We're going to use the left hand because it's a left-sided problem, and we're going to stay to the left of the mid her midline of her left hand because that's the left side of her body. So this from here to here, from the proximal to the distal knuckle, is is all of her neck, like the like the scalenes and the uh, uh, the, uh, all, all the muscles uh, of the neck are right in here. And so we're going to search right down the midline, down the spine, and then we're going to go lateral. And then the, the trapezius area is right in this area here. And so we're going to find the tender points there. And I'm going to try to be gentle. Uh, but I want you to also pay attention to her expression. And, and so uh, what I'm going to do is take this, this point finder, and I'm going to, I'll try to twist my hand to demonstrate. I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm pressing with my middle finger, and I'm pressing down with the, with the roller here, and I'm going to go down, and you tell me when you, when it's, when it might, is it tender in there? There. See, that was the involuntary muscle reflex. That's how you know you're home. So, but that's pretty general, so I'm going to, I'm going to really focus in here. Now, now you tell me when I'm on the tender point. Okay. Yeah. That one. That one. Okay. Now I'm going to go a little bit next to it and tell me if that's still tender. Not, Not as, as much. Tender. Okay. So that was the that was the key one there. So now I'm going to take my little surgical marking pen and I'm going to mark that point so I don't forget where it is. Now I'm going to go a little bit distal to that. And that that isn't bad, is it? No. Okay, now I'm going to now I'm going to go over toward the side of her neck. So I'm going to I'm going to take little tiny moves. Yes. That, do you see her jump? How about now I'm going to go just next to that. That's not so much there. Is no. It? Okay. How about over here? No. no. Tolerable. Tolerable. But it was, it was, so those first two points, right here and here. Okay. Now, by the way, as soon as we use the probe and get that reaction, that sends a signal to the brain, and the brain kicks in action, and it's already working on that tension in her body. Now I'm going to go on the side. It's a little bit. It's a little bit difficult here. I'm a lefty, so so let me just uh, feel along here. This is the side of the, all right, right there, right? Yes. Okay. How about in here? Yes. Oh yeah. See that that's all those, those tight tight bands on your neck. You see, all in here. Oh, and that's <laughs> all that's tight, isn't it? See now now you could at home to to work on your problem. You could get a tool like this. Okay. Where where you would do like this on this finger. On both hands on this side, well, both sides, if they're tight on both sides, and that helps to relieve it, and then you put those little pellets that I'm okay. going to show you on. And where can I find those tools? You can you can go to our website, and uh, we have all that stuff, because it's not easy 
And there's some little knots in there. You feel those little yeah, knots? I feel it. <laughs> For sure. So all, all, actually all along here, all along the SCM, the scalenes, it's a very tender. Now, does it turn your skin? Not so much. Not so much. Okay. So that's on our neck. We haven't even got to the trap yet. Now we're going to look at the trap. Now, I said that's right in here. Remember, this is between C7 and P1. Okay, we're doing okay on time. So, again, I'm going to exert pressure here. I'm going to roll, and I like to start on the middle because that's the spine. And then I work my way over. So let's just see if, if we have anything in this one. There. Right there. Right uh, almost at the joint. Almost at the joint. Around the throat. Right there. <laughs> don't 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 <laughs> run. <laughs> okay. So that that's uh not but not so much over there, is it? Mm, no. no. But but right right here. Right there. Right there. Okay. So mark that one. See this is where the electric point finder is someone is especially tender. You can just very gently use the electric point finder. But I wanted to demonstrate the, the uh, how you know you've hit the point. And I think you can see that. How about down here? So I'm going a little bit distal, which means I'm going I'm going from the top of the shoulder to the trap, a little bit toward the top border of the scapula when I when I move down here on the finger. But that that's that's not so bad, is it? No, there. Right there. Okay, that's a little tender. Okay, that's a little tender. That's like in the paraspinal area, right there. Okay. Good. So right here was a little tender too. Yes. So we have a we have a real little cluster here. But she does, she has a lot of tension in those trapezius from all that book studying, you know. You know what it's like, you remember. You don't want to remember. <laughs> you don't want to remember. Your body remembers. There's nothing this, there. Yeah, right there's now. something right so, there. Right there. Okay, I'm right, I'm right next to the joint. Right? Right. right here. That one. Okay. Good. Okay. So I think I think that's all we would have to do now. Let's check in now. How does your how does it feel on that side? When a way to do this is compare how does it feel on your right side versus your left side. What do you feel over there? Um. And what would your pain level be? On my left. Yeah, on your left side where we've just been working. It feels more relaxed than the right it's, shoulder. This feels tighter. Yes. And it's dropped a little bit. Yes. So if, if, you, if you look forward, the, the left shoulder has come down a little bit because it released some of that tension in there. Okay. All right. You see it's a little bit lower here? Mm -hmm. See what's happening? Now, after the show, we'll treat the other side. I promise. <laughs> okay. Okay. I won't go home so, lopsided. So now, now, now let, let me just feel. It takes, it takes maybe uh, 20 seconds, and then the person starts to feel... Less tension. There's still a lot of tension in there, isn't there? There's still a lot of tension. It's getting a little bit softer. Does it feel softer to you? It does. It feels softer. Okay. So how about on the side of the neck where it turns out is? Let's see. Th that feels a little softer too, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Now, I didn't pay you to say that, do I? No, you didn't. <laughs> you still can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. That's good enough. Now, now we're going to... Put some of these pellets on. Now we have a whole variety here. Let me just show you these. These are some new styles that I get from Dr. Yun Kuria. And they're just different sizes depending on what you found. So, um, Are they also on your website? They're also on the website, yes. Actually on this site, I didn't bring one of a particular kind. There's a, like a long skinny one. But I'm going to do some short skinny ones on the side of your finger. Now if you can zoom in on that. You can see that it's uh, it's not a single round, it's kind of an oblong shape. Why? For that long string here on the side here. You said you found a lot of pellet, a lot of tension there. So I'm gonna actually move the little pellet on the cape itself. Because I wanna I wanna make sure I don't miss any any of the area. So I'll put that one right over the points. And then I'll take another one. And the the person then can massage into these points, maybe every three, four hours. They can take their other hand and massage into those, pushing the metal into the tissue. There's actually two things going on. The metal has an interaction with the ions in the tissue and sends information to the brain, but also the pressure thing that you would do like you would with a ripper. Is that a little tender yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, so, so you can massage that. When it's healed and when it's relaxed, it won't be, it won't seem tender. Okay. It won't feel tender. Now, there's a, 
if you can see, there's, there's two points right here. And so I want to cover both of those points. That's very important. So I don't want to be slipshod when I do this. I want to do it like that. And then there was a little single one here. So I'll take a little single uh, stimulator and I'll put it right over that point. That was right at the almost like a C7, cervical 7, almost at the joint. And then you see there's a regular cluster there. You see that? So I'm going to take one of these. You see how much bigger that is? See that? This is a lot bigger size. I want to cover the points I found. So I'm going to put that one right over this. Now I want to bend your fingers so that it doesn't keep you from closing your hand. And sometimes, sometimes I'll, I'll put tape on it so they'll stay on, you know, especially during the day. Uh, usually what we do is we have people, we have people put these on then at night. She'll keep these on for 24 hours. And then, and then every night until I see her again, she'll do the same thing. She'll find the counterpoints and put the pellets on. Okay, so that essentially that's that's all you have to do. Now, 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 uh, when you put the pellets on, the pain continues to drop and the tension continues to melt. You know, how does it does it feel a little bit better now? Even? Yeah, so, it yeah, does. Yeah, when you were saying that, I was noticing that that is looser. Yes, yeah. and that's why it works. So that would be a typical example of how you would work with a, a real life problem, and that's that's how fast it takes. That's how it goes. It's just that fast. You don't have to do anything else. You know, and then you give them homework and, and get them all involved in the, the whole thing.